One Patrick Stewart, quote, a Star Trek TNG guest star will always remember. Star Trek, the next generation guest star Howie Sego will never forget a particular quote from Patrick Stewart. Sego appeared in TNG Season 2, Episode 5, Loud as a Whisper, as a deaf mediator named Reva, who was being transported by the USS Enterprise D. In order to communicate, Reva has a chorus of three people who act as his interpreters. When his chorus is unexpectedly killed, Reva must find new ways to make himself understood, which proves to be a struggle. Along with Counselor Deanna Troy, Marina Sirtis, Patrick Stewart's Captain Jean-Luc Picard helps Reva regain his confidence, but it was something Stewart said in a later interview that stuck with actor Howie Sego. Sego, who is deaf himself, has had a lengthy career in theater and performing arts, and he helped develop the story for his Star Trek, The Next Generation episode. In a 2022 interview with the Trek Untold podcast, Sego, with help from his ASL interpreter Paul Burt, spoke about his time on TNG and referenced a quote he once read from Patrick Stewart. Read Sego's words and watch the full podcast episode below. The quote that Patrick circles on hand around the top of his head. This is his sign because he's bald in an interview about his experience working with me as a deaf actor for the LA Times. They published a quote in the paper that I'll always remember. It was so well stated. I'll go ahead and read it to you. When you're dealing with an actor who has the authentic handicap, that person carries an authentic tension around with him and it never dissipates, it's always present. Whereas with an actor without the handicap, that is necessarily going to fluctuate. And I think all the actors in the show were sensitive, aware of, and sometimes even nervous of that very idiosyncratic tension. And tension is what makes theater unbelievably beautiful. So well said. Fantastic. I use that when we have to fight our battles with certain films, roles where they try to select hearing actors to play deaf parts. And we have to tell them this over and over. Now it seems like there are more opportunities opening up, but this is from 1988, believe it or not. And it's still happening today. While Star Trek has had its fair share of diversity representation, Reaver remains the only deaf character to have appeared on screen. Howie Sego is also one of the only Trek actors who has the same disability as the character he portrays. One of Star Trek's first disabled characters, and likely the most well-known, is LT, 